Okay, we're going to print the uh, the minor ant's head at 700 millimeters a second, 50 square corner, 50k acceleration. We're just going to let it right here.
Alright, so this was 700 millimeters a second, 0.2 layer height, 50,000 acceleration, and 50 square corner. The 0.2 layer height is, is too high in my opinion. These, these little holes you get on the top is because there's nothing underneath there to support that. So I like to make the layer height lower or increase the line width. But this one I had sped up quite a bit and I, I didn't want to go to the lower or go to the, the, the wider line width. I'd have to turn on a different cooling pump I think. But still, you know, for for this speed, I think it looks fantastic, really. A lot of detail in that little model. This is a little ant miner. Pretty slick. Now, in my last video, I asked, you know, what caused the problem underneath here? And there was some ripping here and by the eye. There's a setting in Super Slicer for convex angle, something like that, and it was set to 160, and the default was zero. And I believe the LS Tuning pro Profile has those at 160. So I've been using them for years like that. But as soon as I turn it back on, I get I get wicked little rips in here, R rips here. Uh, this issue, I went to 0.2 layer height, so uh, with the 0.1 layer height I had here, it switched right in the area where it was having the problem. So maybe uh, Dalius is right, the the uh, pressure advance wasn't right for that area, but I don't I don't know. I'll have to try one, I guess, with different PA for that layer height, but I'm not so sure. All I know is I changed that setting and all that ripping is gone there's no nothing in there it's it's uh it's like it's supposed to be convex angle this thing kicked my butt for two days